Melbourne trains halted after power fault. Melbourne commuters were stuck in the dark in the city loop tunnel for almost an hour this morning after a power fault halted trains. Some passengers were forced to open the train doors due to lack of air as they sat stranded in the tunnel. Metro spokesman Marcus Williams said power had been cut to part of the city loop, affecting Parliament, Flagstaff, and Melbourne Central, while Southern Cross and Flinders Street unscathed. He said two trains, which were stuck in the city loop for almost an hour, are now moving. Affected Craigieburn, Sunbury, and Upfield lines are being directed to Flinders Street. City-bound trains on those lines will travel from North Melbourne to Southern Cross before arriving at Flinders Street. We apologize to all affected passengers. We understand that would have been very frustrating to be stuck inside the train for almost an hour on their way to work, he said. Train died in the city loop. Hello darkness my old friend. Pick.twitter.com BOIG3WZZ6Q. Train limped into Flagstaff with no lights, everyone told to get off at Metro Trains number Sitaloop Pick.twitter.com 2BZSUBIH1U. Train plunged into darkness in City Loop. Driver. It just died number spooky number sit a loop at Metro Trains Pick.twitter.com 2AKA2KJBPM. Commuter Justin Burns, who was stuck between North Melbourne and Flagstaff Station, said people began opening doors as they were gasping for air. The train driver announced not to touch the doors as they unlocked when the power was out, but people started opening doors as it was hot and stuffy, no aircon on a packed train due to the no power, Mr. Burns said. I was kind of hoping to walk in the loop cause, how many people can say they have done that? I was running through survival mode thinking how I could make the food in my bag last, and where I could get water. Take a look in detail of the planned Sunbury line through the CBD and under the Yarra to South Yarra. Animation courtesy state government.